Welcome back to another special edition of TWT TV. I'm standing here with Mary Stewart of Stewart Mortuary, is conveniently located at 2201 North Illinois Street, right in Indianapolis, just north of downtown. <laughs> you said that a lot, haven't you? I sure have. We've been there for 35 years. Okay, give us um, more about the history of Stewart Mortuary and um, contact information, but give us the history of Stewart Mortuary. Well, it's the history of the Stewart family. Uh, Stewart Mortuary was founded in 1948 with um, my uncle, Joe Stewart, as director, but it's a family business. It's one of two. We have the mortuary, and then we also have Stewart Moving and Storage. My grandfather was a dentist. He, um, he practiced dentistry over the years, but prior to that, he was a waiter, but he was the manservant for John Philip Sousa, the band leader. That's how he got his private education. So once he settled back in Indianapolis, um, he steered his sons into business rather than, you know, having a professional office. Yeah. So it kind of rubbed off. So they have two businesses, and um, it was the brothers. Uh, Marion started the moving and storage business first, and I don't know the year of that. I think it was in the 30s. But in 1948, with Joseph as director, Stuart Mortuary was founded. And it was a family business with my, uh, my grandparents, Dr. William Stewart, and May Stewart, she was a former school teacher. And my father came back on in the 50s. My father, um, he, he was originally going to follow, as, as the fifth son, Charles Eugene Quinton Stewart, was going to follow in his father's footsteps more professional because his brothers had business underway. But he was redirected by my grandmother. And um, as it was, he was at the mortuary to join Joe. And um, he eventually became the president of the funeral home. But Joe, you know, they worked together for years. And I had the privilege of working as a licensed funeral director under them for more than 20 years. My uncle passed in 1999. My father passed in 2002. So since then, with Kevin McMichael as my manager and director, my right hand, we have run Stuart Mortuary. Now, what was the inspiration or um, the um, what inspired them to want to open up a, a mortuary? Well, my uncle had originally served his apprenticeship at another funeral home. And when the Stewart family experienced death firsthand, uh, my grandmother did, was not pleased with those services. So as it was directed, my grandfather, as chairman of the Board of Finance for the Flanner House, the Flanner House was looking to relocate. They need to sell their building. So it was said, Stewart Mortuary, the Stewart family bought the old Flanner House, and the mortuary was founded. So this was based on the fact that she was not happy with how they handled services and so she didn't want to see another family having to go through the same experience as she did. She just, well, you know, I'm not going to say that the Stuart women are bossy, but let's say that there is director blood running through our veins. So with that in mind, um, it was it was decided that Stuart Mortuary would be founded because Joseph was working at another funeral home that's no longer in business. And so he had his own. That way he could direct the way. And this might be a weird question, uh, but What's the one thing that Stuart Mortuary loves to specialize in that kind of separates them from other mortuaries when you know people want to come in and you know, get things done for to, to put their loved ones to rest? Well, I think what really put us on the book years ago was that we were able to serve everyone. You know, um, by my my aunt, one of one of Charlie and Joe's sisters, by one of them being you know she was um, the the lead social worker for the Marion County Department of Public Welfare. So she was a social worker. And so she realized that there was a need that not everyone was being served. So with that in mind, we opened up the doors to serve our community. And there was a lady who used to be down on Indiana Avenue. She used to push a cart. Her name was Minnie the Moocher. So Stuart Mortuary, yeah, there was a song, Cab Calloway. <laughs> same, one, one in the same, one in the same, yeah. And um, we, we, we did her services free of charge and that, that's how that's how it was started. So through the years, you know, we're still family owned and operated. We're one of the few. We don't have a conglomerate or anyone breathing down our throats. So by us being able to direct things from within, we're able to grant services that we don't have to ask a higher up to do. So that's what we're based on. We, we try and keep things current. You know, we try and keep our cars up. Our, our facility is perhaps the largest in the African-American community. 
So, yeah. So we, we have stayed on, on – we, we try and keep it up. Is there anything else that you would like the city of Indianapolis to know about Stuart Mortuaries? Our, I'm right. our, our largest message is that we are open to serve, and we're open to serve everyone. You know, we, we, try, and, um, we try and broaden our horizons personally. Um, I mean, Kevin, our director, he is president of the state Indiana Funeral Directors and Morticians Association, which is our Indiana chapter of the National Funeral Directors and Morticians Association. So whereas that is our anchor, we, we're able to reach out and serve everyone within the community. We have quite a following.